Hey everyone, if you are looking for a video for use context hook, so this video is for you. In this video, we'll just explain all concepts related to use context hook. Okay, so let's start. What is use context hook? A use context hook is uh, used to manage global data in your React application. For example, you would like to uh, store your user information in more than one, three, and five uh, components. Okay, so then there we need. Um, use context hook to store data there and we access from all other components i will explain you and i will show you it in example so for example the global data is like uh, you would like to store global uh, state themes services and user settings these are the uh, cases that you would like to store and uh, use use context hook uh, why we need use context hook uh, the reason is for in this image that you see a hierarchy of components uh, in this component we have um, First of all, the parent is the app, then we have children with that, then we have a hierarchy of components. For example, the data is in um, app component, okay? In this app component, you have the data and you want to access that in a single post component, which is down, okay, in the last step. And whenever you want to access those data in this single post uh, component, so it is hard to pass from app to um, main, then from feed to, to following to it is hard to pass from one by one to um, a single post. So the reason is that we are using use context to store the data in the parent uh, and access in all components. Wherever we want, we can access that data, that global data. So how to use this uh, um, create context uh, hook? So this context uh, hook. So for to use this, uh, we need three steps. First of all, we need to create context. Then we need to provide the context. The third step is to consume the context. Okay, so now let's get started uh, to create an example for that. Okay, this is the end react app. Okay, this is the app, the parent one. And then we have a child component, which I have called in this parent. Inside this child A, I have another component, which is child, child B. Okay, I want to store here some data in this uh, app component, and I want to access that in child B, which is um, the grandchildren of uh, app.jsx. So for that, let's first of all uh, import uh, use context hook. Let that has imported from React. And after that, let's create uh, context. So I will just write like this. Const user context is equal to uh, use uh, create context. Sorry, this is create context. create context and after that uh, we will just wrap all our components through this uh, user context okay like this for example we want to uh, all our children component should access this data that i am providing here so we will write something like this okay mm, let's write here user context dot provider So all uh, this component and all uh, children component of this will access the data that I am passing through this provider. So let's pass the data for example uh, value is equal to I will just pass a name uh, like coding. This is a name that I have passed through this provider. All these child, this child and, and the ch uh, child component of this component will access this value. So how to access that? Let's come here to the child B. We would like to access that data here. So first of all, we will just import that. Uh, import user context from app.jsx. Okay, after importing that, so now we will use that. So to use um, it user context, so we need one another hook. We would like to import that use context from React. Okay, that has imported. So now let's come here and we will just try to const user is equal to use context and we will assign this user context that we has created. After that, our value will be assigned um, to this user. So now let's print the user. Here I will just print user. Now let's run our React app. CD client. I will move to the client folder npm run div. It will start our React app. And let's move to this URL. So let's check it. Uh, this is app 
inside up we have just yeah let's come here to the main we call up here so that we have called a child a so let's just come here uh, we should uh, export it okay and um, the context that we has created we should export that now let's check it refresh our page see this is our data this is the coding that we has passed okay if i pass something else let's for example yourself okay let's save it see that has changed the data so it was all about uh, use context hook uh, if you got if you understand and this uh, so congratulations that you learned about use context hook how to use it so it was all about um, the use context hook to use that okay for global data uh, it had uh, three steps first of all create that provide that and consume that so i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching